Hello everybody, welcome to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira and today we are playing Red Dead Redemption. So as you all know, probably by this point, Red Dead Redemption 2 will be released in October of 2018. So I figured now is time to dust off this amazing Western game and do a Let's Play of it. So we are going to do the standard thing. This game is Red Dead Redemption 1 by Rockstar Studios. And it's like sort of a Wild West version of Grand Theft Auto. And it's a real fun game. And we're going to go through and look at the story and we're going to play it and we're going to we're going to find out what's going on. And as always, I want to let you guys know, even though, once again, it's a 10-year-old game, there will be spoilers in this, because it's a Let's Play, and we're going to play the whole thing and look at all the story and everything. So let's get started without waiting here. Now, take a quick look. I got the Game of the Year version way back when, so it also came with some downloadable content. So we have the Deadly Assassin outfit, which is an unlockable outfit. We have a War Horse. Not sure how to use that. Um, we have some Golden Guns. I think those are automatically applied. And then Compliments of the House. I think that's a, uh, a an outfit that we automatically have. Not sure. This also has the Undead Nightmare DLC. So when we begin, we are prompted to pick Red Dead Redemption or Undead Nightmare. So we're going to start with the regular story of Red Dead Redemption. And maybe afterwards, if we have some time, we'll go through and do the Undead Nightmare as well. one am grateful mrs bush that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land i could not agree with you more my dear my daddy settled this land and i know he'll be looking down on us pleased at how we help the natives yes they've lost their land but they've gained access to heaven But father, 
Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, that hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Okay, so that was an epic opening cutscene. I remember back in the day when it looked a little bit more impressive, but this is an old game, so it's, it's you know, pretty good for its time. Glad to see that things haven't changed too much. So, before we get started, let's have a look at what we have here. So, we have a knife and a cattleman revolver. What do we have for outfits? We have a cowboy outfit, and we have 13, or 12, excuse me, undiscovered outfits. All right, what's this journal? Aha! Hmm. Okay, so the journal here must be our um, log of stuffs that has happened. What do we have? here for configurations. Okay, so we have target mode. What is this? I think I'm going to go with normal for now. I'm not going to be doing any multiplayer. I don't care about the inverted horse relative sounds good. Camera. Yeah, let's go with horse. So vibration, sensitivity, auto center, yeah, all that looks nice. Controls. Aha! Okay, so it says configuration, but I don't think we have a choice here. Okay, so just because these are the controls. And again, on horseback. And ooh, you can drive some vehicles and ride shotgun on a carriage 
Yeah, the, that's good. Um, I think that's all right. Brightness, I think all of that stuff's going to be fine, too. Cheats. Interesting. Okay, so we have cheats if we ever decide that we wish to use them, but I will not. Not yet, at least. I'm going to play this game f for real. Ah, uh -huh. So we have all sorts of different statistics here. <laughs> Missions. Crimes. Okay. Uh, travels. Okay, perfect. We've traveled 103.95 feet. <laughs> okay, combat. Wow. So they actually get um, quite in-depth about all your different stuff. We don't care about that. What's the game? Ah, I see. So the game allows us to go to a new game and load our game and maybe save our game. So, we are this guy. And I think pretty much all we know is that his name is John Marston. And we are supposed to go to that there saloon over there. Yep. And... Well, let's let's get to it. Let's let's keep this story going. Okay. He, he just tripped down the stairs. You don't look too good, man. Oh. We're gonna fall through the door too. Mr. Marfin! Over here! You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Okay. Love the piano. You're gonna get us both in a world of trouble, Mr. Martin. Oop. Put that away. Uh, <laughs> that guy's still having some trouble over there. <laughs> he just smashed his head. You all right. Find horses in these in all all right. Walls. We'll grab this horse. Oop. And I hey, just punched the microphone. Right Sorry about that. Ain't no point in causing a how do I... How do I control the horse? He, uh... Giddy up. Ah. Okay, so Abe... Oh. Okay, so this is... That's right. This is just like Grand Theft Auto. And... Okay, so the the brakes are the same. Ooh, can I? Oh, my horse can my horse can jump. <laughs> That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old Serena back to you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? 
Anyway, so if you hold the A button when you're riding with a companion, your horse will match their speed with infinite yeah, yeah. stamina, and it'll also sort yeah. of go oh, in the right direction. Hide, mate. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah. How does this horse work? Come on, horse. You can do it. Please, get on the road. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. Oop, what's that? Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> okay. So, we are going to approach this fort. Just walking right up to the front gate of the fort doesn't seem like a good idea. Maybe we should try and sneak around back or something. Like, I really feel like this is asking for trouble. think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Okay, so they're just gonna shoot me and leave me there for the buzzards? They, oh, they might have dragged me a little bit or something. Yeah, they dragged me. Like, they just, like, took me out like trash, like, threw me at the end of the road. Alright. <laughs> Or 
Or maybe I maybe I tried to get up and walk away or something. Hey, wasn't that woman on the train with us? Okay, guys, I'm not going to show you the loading screens, but all the loading screens look sort of like this. They tell a little bit about the chapter we're in, and they've got the revolver spinning on the left there, and got some nice pictures in the background. But that's about it. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna... Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Fifteen dollars for doctor's bills. Hmm. Wish they were, uh, like that nowadays. Join Bonnie. Alright, so, we have to join Bonnie. We have a blue dot on our map. Oh, okay. So, here we are. Hmm. All right, and here is the map. So, we were at Armadillo, and then where did we go? I think we went up here. And then around here somewhere. Am I thinking correctly? Do I, I don't see a Fort Mercer on the map anywhere. Yeah, I, th I think we were up here somewhere. And then we're over here at the McFarland Ranch. So what is this? That's That looks like something. Ooh. Oh, I see. So when I zoom right in, that's when it starts to put things on the map, like buildings and whatever. Good to know. Okay. So we need to go to the blue. Let's explore this little room first. Can I do anything in here? Oh, I can trip on some jugs here, but that's about it. And, yeah, that, that looks like that's literally it. So I guess we need to go talk to Bonnie McFarland. Ooh, maybe Marston shouldn't be running there. He still looks like he's bleeding a little bit. Got his uh, bandage going. Oh, there she is. 
out on her porch. Hey there. How's it going? Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. All right. Get to walk with Bonnie. Hold our side a little bit. Ah, so we can press B and focus on stuff. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Let's grab this black okay, horse. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Well, of course let's I can. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearings. Have a general store. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Oh. How do I control this beast? Follow her, please. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing uh, in all sorts of new folks like yourself. My horse is speeding up. Thing. Change is only good when it makes things better. <laughs> what are you doing, horse? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. The hor Maybe. Go, horse. Go. Okay. Okay. And we're back and at the here house. We are back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. No. Alright. So we can press X and save a horse. Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. Wow, she walks away fast. How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Okay, meet a strange... Outlaw-looking person. Give him a gun. That sounds like seems like a bad idea. But I guess, I guess whatever. I look trustworthy, right? All right. So we have a weapon wheel. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Suspicious like what? Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team.
Ooh, a target. Ha Much obliged for the help. Them rabbits can be wild little critters. Waskly wabbit. We get them all? I think I got them all. I should get extra points for getting all of them. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. <laughs> Look out! Coyotes! Shoot them before they get to the animals! Quick! They're going after the chickens! Oh no, not the chickens. Did I get them all? I just wish we'd saved all the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Oh, okay. So, are we done? Is that it? Come on. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarlane. This is you, Mr. Marston. All right, so we must tie our horse to the post. Apparently he's just going to sit here. No stable for our horse. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Alright, so we can sleep in the bed to save the game. And if we sleep, we'll wake up six hours later. Magically. Ooh, extra ammo from the trunk. Okay. That's good. And I'm currently Dead Eye level one, whatever that is. So general stores, doctors, and gunsmiths around the territory allow you to buy new weapons, restock on ammunition, and something. All right, some people even deal in valuable information about the surroundings in the form of maps or newspapers. Okay, so let's pick up some ammo. Um, change outfits. Fift okay, 15 outfits now. Ah, the gentleman's attire. So wearing this... High class attire allows you into the high stakes poker games in Blackwater. And the Deadly Assassin outfit. Okay, so we apparently have to find five scraps of clothing, huh? Okay, so we will do that at some point. And let's save the game. Huh, okay, so I've got to save on this. Let's override it, and we're ready to go. Go to the B on your map to speak with Bobby Mc... Bonnie, excuse me, Bonnie McFarland. And... I, I guess that's it. Can I go in the store? Howdy. No, no, I can't. There's someone in the store, but I can't go in. Maybe I, maybe I can't get in the store yet. So what's going on here? We have the, this dog. Can I pet the dog? No, I cannot pet the dog. Okay, I guess we'll just... Go here and talk to Bonnie. 
and we'll see what's next since we can't do too much else. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right. I guess we're going to race. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Oh, she's got a head start. That's not fair. Go yeah. to the Come race on, start. Get out of the way. Hola, ¿cómo está? Come on. On the count of three. Three, two, one. Go! All right, well, so we're all... We're not going to be a gentleman about this. Nope. You don't know all we need to do is mash the uh, A button, and our horse gets tired, and we let him rest. And then we mash the A button some more. And in general, we want to stay on the road. And that'll make us go faster. Faster. Are you saving the best for last? Just don't um, completely run your horse your out of stamina. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Come on, horse. Jump down. There we go. Uh, I think our horse is like dead. A raccoon. Perfect. Alright, I need to catch up to her. Yeah. I actually don't think I have called myself a dangerous outlaw. Uh, this horse Maggie controls like crap. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Where am I going? I have no idea where I'm going. I need to go across this bridge. I think I've lost this race, guys. Ah, oh, I'm. St why? Why aren't you running? Is she gonna wait for me? I don't know if she is. We'll find out in just a... Nah, she's not waiting for me. <laughs> she doesn't Whoa. care. Well, if you run faster, horse, I wouldn't have to flog you so much. Where is she? She's way up ahead, huh? I don't think there's any way I can catch up to it at this point. Oh! Go, horse, go! Ooh, actually, she's... She's right there, so maybe if I stay on the road... Hey, a deer. Alright. I'm catching up. Come on, horse, you can do it. Ooh, we're at the ranch. Come on. Neck and neck. Nope, can't do it. 
I wonder if I could shoot her horse or if that would be frowned upon. Oh, I lost! <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think's best, Mr. Marston. Hmm. Okay, awkward transition there. And we are at a good point here. So we got something to do with Bonnie there. And we have another objective back in Armadillo. This must be the Marshal. Marshal Johnson, yes. All right. So we have learned here that Mr. John Marston here was some sort of outlaw guy in a gang with the Bill Williamson guy who shot him at the fort. And something's going on with Mr. Marston, and he has to do... S I, I assume he's like a bounty hunter, maybe? That might be the right word. And we have to track down Bill Williamson and bring him to justice? Oh! Uh... Hmm. I... Th I don't understand how I fell through the wall, but I am now stuck in the prison. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me out, guys. I didn't do it. I'm an innocent man. Oh, no. Uh, I think I'm actually stuck here. So, yeah. We... We, we've... Shh. Shh. Go away. Uh, so, we've learned a little bit about John Marston's history. And we've learned that he's here to bring Bill Williamson to justice. And when we come back next time, hopefully they'll let me out of jail. And we can continue with our missions. Uh, we're probably going to stick with Bonnie McFarland for a little bit and see what she has to say. And then after that, who knows, we'll go see the Marshall guy and do stuff with him. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network bringing you Red Dead Redemption. Have a wonderful night.